Okay, welcome back to 2013, question 5A, part 2. And we're asked to find the earnings per share in this. Uh, so the earnings per share um, is a, another formula, first of all, for earnings per share. And it's earnings per share uh, is equal to, where are we, earnings per share. is equal to uh, net profit minus tax minus preference dividends. I'm just going to call it pref divs for short, preference dividends, uh, divided by uh, the number of ordinary shares. number of ordinary shares and then because that would give you an answer which would be in euros you'd have to multiply it by 100 to give your uh, answer in cent because the amount is usually pretty small it's a small fraction of a euro so it might be just like three or four cent uh, per share so uh, first thing to say about it then the net profit minus tax Normally these questions, to date anyway, there's never been any tax included. So really this amounts to net profit minus preference dividends divided by number of ordinary shares. But I'll leave that in there just in case a question does come up someday and there is a tax included in the trading profit and loss account. Uh, so the earnings per share, let's start substituting stuff in. Net profit, if we look over here again, uh, we're going to have to do some calculations to get the net profit. We can see uh, sales less cost of goods sold is going to give us our gross profit. And if we subtracted uh, both the operating, well, if we took the operating expenses, first of all, we would get our operating profit. And then if we subtracted the interest, then we get our net profit. So our net profit here is 31,000. So 31,000, and as I say, there's no tax, so we can ignore that for this particular question, uh, minus the preference dividends. So here we go again. We've got a figure here for the amount of dividends paid in total, 25,000, but that's uh, the both the preference dividends paid out and the ordinary dividends paid out all together. So we don't know how much of that 25,000 at the moment is the amount for preference dividends. However, because preference dividends is a set amount that needs to be paid, we can work it out from looking at some of the figures in the balance sheet. We see that in the capital and reserve section, we've got 5% preference shares at one euro each, 100,000, which means the amount that should be paid out in dividends for these preference shares is 5% of this 100,000 figure. So we can work that out if we want. 5% of 100,000 is 5,000, isn't it? So if the dividends paid were 25,000, and we know the preference dividends are 5,000, we could work out that the ordinary dividends paid out are 20,000. In this case, we don't need it yet, but later on in the question we may. So minus preference dividends of 5,000, divided by number of ordinary shares. So again, down here we go, um, ordinary shares at one euro each, 550,000. So it's the number of issued ordinary shares if we're to be um, precise about it, not the authorized ordinary shares, but issued. So it's yeah, up here, if you like, already issued 550,000 ordinary shares. So divide by 550,000 and multiply by 100. And when we put all of that into the calculator, then um, we get a figure which we're going to have to round off. Uh, and when we do, uh, we're going to get a figure of 4.73 cent. Again, the unit is very important in this question that we include whatever it happens to be, in this case, cent. Uh, 